Cooper going close here, although Joe Miller, who still looks exactly the same despite having been around for a hundred years, caused an anxious moment after cutting in from the wing. This wasn't a day to remember for Stevie Crawford, although in his defence it should be said that he was always getting into good positions, even if his finishing wasn't exactly Gerd Muller-esque. Pibb started the second half brightly enough too, with first Pat McGinley shooting wide and then the team putting together a fine passing move which totally panicked the Aberdeen defence before ending with another horrible moment for Stevie Crawford. Still, as they say, on another day they'll go in. Then that great Scottish football enigma Ian Jess produced the kind of moment of class which usually prompts Hacks to rabbit on about his potential even although he's now in his late 20s and Hibs were a goal down. Brian Gunn then had to tip over a header from that charming fellow Dean Windass before Hibs mounted an all or nothing everything but the kitchen sink type flurry towards the end to try and save a point. McGinley was off target on two occasions in the last 10 minutes before, with all hope apparently gone, Dino, as our northern friends appear to like to call him, handled the ball and it was another last minute penalty for Tony Rougier to convert. He never seems to panic either, which is probably just as well, and Dunfermline can't really be feeling safe yet.